Hey everyone, how are you going today? It is so good to see you. I do hope that you are super well. Better than me. In an update to an update, we have even more news on HE and HE Star support. Literally. Less than 24 hours ago, I dropped a video stating that Adobe now had support pretty much across the board, except for a few obscure processes. I don't want to be the definitive oracle on what was going on with Adobe, but it appears essentially that they were beta testing or doing what they called a preliminary version of support on some operating systems on some processes. And for example, in the case of Apple, there was support, but it was running under emulation and but it still wasn't at the finished quality because it would appear that the quality has also improved. So not only are we not running in emulation anymore, but it is better at handling the files. So ultimately this kind of says to me, it was a beta version, which now it would appear, what I said in my last video, that something, something like in the last five or so weeks, that beta version, that preliminary version, is now a full version and there's just a couple of processes that it doesn't work on, more minor processes. Anyway, as I said, I don't want to be the definitive oracle on that. We can now comfortably say it is working on the majority of platforms, not in beta, preliminary, anymore, and that's great news. So that's great news because Adobe's huge and millions of people out there are using it. But! Two hours after I dropped my video, Capture One released an update. Yes, indeed they did. It's 15.6.1 or something like that. I'll write it at the bottom here. I know the 15 is weird because they're up to version 23. Just recently they changed the numbers to not match the actual versions anymore. Anyway, that's by the by. And literally two hours after my video dropped saying, who knows when Capture One will support HE and HE Star, they have released an update. If you own the current version, you don't even have to buy the next version. You now have support for HE and HE Star. I've downloaded it. I've looked at some files and yes, they're absolutely working and they look fabulous. My only thought so far, and I've only spent a short time with it. So if anybody out there knows how to do this, please let us all know in the comments below. I can't see anywhere where it tells us in, when you look at the info of the file, the metadata, it just simply says raw and there's no delineation like there is in the Nikon software of whether it's high efficiency or high efficiency star. Um, you know, I'd, I'd like to be able to see that. Not the end of the world. Super excited that I can work with the files. That's more important than anything else. But if there's a way to see that somewhere else and I've only spent five minutes with Capture One just to prove that it works because based on how information has really varied around this, um, I just really wanted to prove it to myself that Capture One worked with these files. And I can say 100% yes it does. I just can't see right now how you delineate between the three versions of RAW currently. Or maybe there's a tab or a button or somewhere in Capture One. There are a lot of palettes in Capture One. Anyway, let me know if you know if that's possible. Okay, here are those same files. We've got 7755, 7756, and 7757. We can see them here in the Finder, and we can see their sizes, 19.6, 31, 49.2. We can't see sizes inside Capture One, but it's the sizes that lets us know which file type they are. So this is the full-sized file, lossless compressed, and this is the HE star file, and this is just the HE. Again, to reiterate, smallest, medium, large. And looking here at 100%, we can see that the files look fantastic. This is the lowest quality one. This is the medium. And this is the highest. And in all honesty, right now, look, I can't see a lot of difference between these. And we will do a whole video about this at another time. But it's very exciting, very, very impressive. This is at 200%. Let's go out to 100%. Here it is running on an M1 MacBook Pro. I'm super pumped to say it's running natively. It's ridiculously fast. We can obviously do all of our normal adjustments. And this is the HE file here. This one we'll just get rid of. 
the other one and we have all of the usual adjustments that we would normally have and yes capture one runs so well on the m1 max it's super cool all righty well there it is uh <laughs> we are working on capture one with these great file types for me this is an exciting new frontier for others some some of you have been working with it for ages Yes, I do feel a little bit silly, but uh, it was a preliminary slash beta version, and I think the non-beta versions are new for Adobe. And of course, Capture One, ON1, and whoever else is going to do it, these are new. This happened today for Capture One, just a couple of days ago for ON1, and I'm not exactly sure what we're going to call it for Adobe. It's been a while or not, depending on who you are. Otherwise, the major point of this very quick video is to say Capture One support is also now happening and Z9 users can rejoice. And I just want to reiterate, can't wait for this file system to hopefully come to some other Nikon cameras because I think it's really profoundly useful when it comes to file handling, speed of transfers, how much data you can fit on a hard drive and on your card. And then another one is, because the files are smaller, does this mean that burst rates writing to the card can go for longer? We will test that in an upcoming video. All right, please let me know if you've got any more information about any of this stuff in the comments below. Capture One now has Z9, HE and HE Star support. That's so exciting. So good to see you. If this is your first time here, I'd love to see you again. So please do share, subscribe, like, See you very soon. All right. Bye for now.